Hello again there guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the new update uh, that just came out, so let's go ahead and get started. So the new chapter came out, Anjabin Dynasty, let's go ahead and take a look at it. This chapter for me it was not that hard, it was pretty simple, pretty straightforward, um, you, could pretty, you could knock it out really quick. Over here. You get some uh, longbowmen at the end, you get some medals, and you get some archery equipment. So, uh, pretty nice rewards and not that hard uh, of a campaign. So, um, try to complete these missions on hard. You get some pretty nice uh, rewards here. Just gotta complete Siege of Chateau. Good luck. So, and Jebin Dynasty, not much to say about it. Pretty simple. Not that hard, like I said. <clears throat> okay, so another very important thing: generals. Um, some of the generals got a face update. As you can see, Alexios just got an update on his appearance, and uh, other generals: Vichigas, Michael the Stammer, and the new general, Alexander Nievsky. So, he comes with a special unit that's also new, Boyo Cavalry, very good unit. Um, if you manage to get Boyo Cavalry, definitely get Niepski. Uh His skill set, uh, not too impressed by it, comes with Hero Legend. Um, if you got some spare medals, buy him. Uh, right now I'm just not interested in him, but you know, he's not a bad general, definitely get him if you get uh, Boyo Cavalry. Another new unit, so here is Boyo Kevin, Alexander Niepski's unit. So another feature, the Longbowman, you get these um, at the end of the new chapter. You could, you know, they, you could switch them to Fire Longbowman, which is a pretty cool future, uh, feature. I think they're going to add this for other units in the future, uh, not sure, but hopefully. So. You can make them stronger pretty much. As you can see, damage against defense infantry and melee cavalry, plus 15. Keshig is another new unit. It's a type of uh, Mongolian cavalry. Pretty good units. So if you could get those, definitely do. Uh, that's about it for over here. So now let's go to territory mode. Okay, so for territory mode, let's see. The, uh, I'm not sure if these were in the game. Um, some of these. This one I know, the Imperial Spired Helmet. Uh, some of these are new. Not sure if you could upgrade these uh, with medals. With uh, with iron like uh, special equipment, but they're still uh, very good to have. If you could get one of these, go ahead and get them. As you could see, infantry capability plus 18, range capability plus 15, cavalry plus 10. So they cost quite a bit of silver, but definitely worth getting to equip to your generals. Another one, where is it? You could change your map on territory mode. So here, plane. Um, so you could pretty much change uh, your, your territory, how it looks. So that's another feature they added. And uh, that's pretty much it for territory mode. Okay, conquest mode. Another small feature here, so they only added this to Barbarian Invasion, so I'm doing Western Roman, let's go ahead and check it out. So over here on the top, you could see, you could claim different names, you know, Western Roman, Roman Empire, uh, all you gotta do is conquer 
these cities. You know, it, it depends for each of the titles. And uh, that's pretty much about it. It increases uh, your unit's abilities. As you can see, attack of melee infantry, plus 20. Uh, defense of melee infantry, plus 15. So, uh, just a small feature. But a uh, pretty nice one indeed. <clears throat> uh, that's pretty much it for the new updates. The next one will include what unlock European War. So I'll make a video about that one when it comes out. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.